My father was a miner. My mother, she worked in a diner. I am a child of industry, a product of the carbon economy, a witness to all this inequality. My name is Timothy, and if you'll share with me a moment of your time, I'll share with you my rant, my riddle, my rhyme. Ferguson and Baghdad, Cobble and Flint, handy work of our friends in the 1%. You heard them say, pray for Brussels, pray for Paris, France, grieve for the lost mothers, fathers, children, uncles, and aunts. But when innocent families are murdered in the neighborhood in Pakistan, Yemen, or the Ivory Coast, they barely get a second glance in the Huffington Post. Were they wrong or were they white? Were they black or were they right? Will it be news? Will it be red? What color were they before they bled these 200 injured and 40 dead? Our schools are dilapidated and in the red. Our children are being poisoned by water tainted with lead. Prisons are full to the rim while corporate jailers make billions off of them. Wingnuts with crew cuts and beer guts wearing suits and ties are walking the halls of our Congress, shaking hands and selling their capitalist lies. These people lacking in civility and humility. These people hooked on nationality screaming about their immorality are writing laws that further their own cause. Skateboarding and jaywalking can get you some time for some, failure to signal is now a capital crime. A stolen Mountain Dew might mean a bullet for you. Laquan McDonald and Walter Scott were tried, convicted, and shot because of the color. They were not. Agents of the failing state creating dissent, manufacturing hate, while theocrats, technocrats, and plutocrats stand upon a stage and pretend to care about those working two jobs at minimum wage. Movers and rakers, bakers and servers, dishwashers and maids being marginalized, demonized, and grossly underpaid, while wage theft and the morality of debt have quickly become the billionaire's favorite bet. Have you paid off that credit card yet? Profit and gain, slavery and pain, they're one and the same. Plutocrats buy politicians and planes, billions struggle in vain. Debtor prisons and drug testing for the poor, a doctor's office with a special door. Closing schools, changing the rules, manufacturing fools to operate capitalism's tools. They build walls between us, protect an unborn fetus, then execute men named Jesus and Cletus. GOP TV and MSNBC, pundits of the oligarchy. Trump and Clinton braying and lying, jingos and jangos with all of their jargon. The wealthy and the rich always working their pitch. They revoked the Glass-Steagall Act, then they wrote the Poverty Pact. They represent neither you nor me. Welcome to the end of our democracy. Thank you.